Hi, my name is Dan McAllister with Dan Fitness, and today we're going to do some some foam rolling, so my faster release. And we do this a lot of times at the beginning and at the end of workouts, but a lot of times this is going to help pull out with with loosening up the soft tissue so your body can actually start moving properly here. So we're going to go over about five little areas today. There's more areas you can do. We're just going to stick with five basic ones right now to help you understand how to start getting these muscles moving. If you ever have problems with your back or hamstrings or feet, this may give you some relief here. So let's go ahead and begin. To begin, we're going to start off, I got a three foot foam roller here. These come in all different shapes and sizes. There's some that are about two feet, there's some that's one feet. You can still do these same exercises whether you have a one foot, two foot, or three foot roller. Okay, let's begin. So we're, getting, we're going to get on the foam roller today. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll out those quads. Now, I never want you to roll below the knees. Okay, so we're going to start all the way up the legs. So we're going to start here right at the base of the, the, the quad here, okay? And we're just going to roll down, okay? Now you can have your arms on your hands or you can be on your elbows. You can just roll down, okay? Roll down. And again, I want you to stop at your knees. Do not go over your kneecaps. So we're going to stop right there. Now, if this feels good, good for you. Because sometimes foam rolling. <laughs> You're gonna know you're rolling, okay? But we'll talk about that in a minute. So you roll down the quad, roll back up the quad about five or six times. And I want you to go about an inch per second. So I don't want you going out here rolling like, oh, this is so easy. No, really slow down and let it go. If you find a spot that hurts, let it sit there for about 15 seconds. Let that pain start to subside a little bit here. So this is just the quad. We're just rolling the quad here. Now let's get to the interesting stuff here. So Next, we're going to we're going to sit on the roller, and I'm going to use this side so you can have a better camera angle. We're going to work on our piriformis. The piriformis sits at the base of the spine, so it's very difficult to get to sometimes. So what we're going to do is you're going to sit. I'm going to use my right side, okay? We're going to sit on the right side, and I want you to take your right leg and cross it over your knee best you can. Now, if you have problems getting over your quad here, come lower. That's fine. What this does is it allows you to open up that hip so you can get that piriformis again. He sits at the base of your spine here, so you have to kind of open the hip up in order to get to him. And we're going to make small little rolls right there in our glutes. And you'll know you hit it because you might, you might make a face just like that. Like, ooh, I hit it. Then we're going to come over here and just roll them out for a few minutes. Okay? Next, we're going to hit that little funny thing called a TFL. Tensor fascia latte. He sits right here. So I want you to think about touching your hip bone right here. Then we're just going to turn a little bit forward. So you're going to lay down here. And you know you're going to hit it because all of a sudden, again, your face is going to change, your expression is going to change. And what I want you to concentrate on is not coming off of it. So if it hurts a little bit, use your body to take some of the pressure off and you're going to start rolling. Just about four to five inches right here, right in the lower part of your hip. Give some small little movements here. It feels great, doesn't it? Yeah, if, it's, if you start to hurt and most people start to want to rock back and forth, you got to stay on it and let it work. Again, you want to hold it for like 15 to 20 seconds, start letting that pain start to subside a little bit. Now you see, this becomes a workout, see? Woo, right? Because you're working out these muscles here. Next, we're going to stick on this right here. We're going to and that's tilt our body a little bit more forward and we're going to continue to roll down that leg. Now we're hitting the IT band. Or the iliotibial band for the smart people out there, like me. We're gonna come right here, we're gonna roll all the way down until you get to the right there above your knee. Don't roll over your knees, okay? You're gonna stop about two inches above your kneecap. Roll down, roll back and forth again. Once it starts to hurt a little bit, we tend to want to turn our body. Make sure you stay on him and really get him out of there, okay? Roll him out. Alright, I'm done with that today. Lastly, we're going to go over here and we're going to do our calves. Now we're going to do a couple different things with our calves here. We're going to roll our calves both feet at a time. Again, I don't want you to go behind the knees. I want you to go right to the very top of your calf muscle, or the gastric knees. We're going to roll back and forth here. Now, you want, if you really have a tight muscle there in the calf, we're going to isolate it out to one leg at a time. We're going to cross one leg up here 
and we can go right to the outside of that cat. And again, about an inch per second, so we don't want to be going back and forth like we're in a race here, okay? About an inch per second. Stop before you get to behind that knee. You want to turn to the middle and do the same thing. Lastly, we're going to turn to the inside. And then we repeat the same thing to the next leg. So, again, hope you enjoyed this demonstration here. Please, again, my name is Dan McAllister. Follow me on social media, and I'll talk to you next time.